that's fortunate enough to meet Rick Scott. Along the way, you might recall the end of 2005, a little storm brewed and blew into uh, New Orleans called Hurricane Katrina. I went down and uh, wanted to do a little work down there and help some people out. And I realized, first off, I wanted to go down and make a few dollars. But I went down there and, and, and you heard that they were going to level the bulldoze complete communities and then they were going to come back in and, uh, and, and, and large national builders like, you know, I don't know, Pulte Homes or, or Dell Webb or somebody was going to come in and rebuild complete blocks of homes. Well, you had hundreds of thousands of individual homeowners with hundreds of thousands of individual property rights. There was no way that was going to happen. So we went down and started looking at it. We came up with a portfolio of modular homes, Knox, Meeple, Packard. Went down and Larry back there took off and went to Houston and met with a bunch of homeowners. And he sat down and they looked at him and they said, well, Larry, this nice little plan you got here. And, uh, but to be honest with you, could you just help me rebuild my house? I've got this 2,600 square foot brick ranch home. And, you know, it could be rebuilt. And I'd much rather do that than put a double wide trailer on stilts. So we went and looked at it. And I went down and it was like the Twilight Zone, to be quite honest. We'd get walked in and, and, and you park in the neighborhood, you look. Grass was growing and trees were blowing and, and uh, birds were singing. That was the weirdest thing. But anyway, it was like the twilight zone. But if you looked in the windows of all the houses, they were gutted down to the bones. They looked like they'd just been roughed in. So again, I talked with Rick and a few other people, and we said, "Hey, this is just like uh, the rough-in schedule after after you just completed the house." So we knew we could schedule it, but the problem was how do you quantify it? How do you tell? How do you go down and bid the job? That and the homeowners were displaced all over the country, some even here in Kansas City. So we started looking at it, and we decided to take design an application that would empower these AmeriCorps volunteers. AmeriCorps volunteers are a domestic version of the Peace Corps, if you don't know. And we, we decided to build a tool that would empower these AmeriCorps volunteers to be able to provide construction oversight with complete transparency and accountability for these displaced homeowners all over the country. They, they had access to the homeowners because when they went down and gutted these homes, 4.3 million man hours worth of volunteer labor went down there. When they done, went down there to get these homes, they had to have permission from the homeowners. Well, if anybody's done any marketing, marketing's expensive, and if you're trying to find a homeowner on Broadway and you have no idea how to get a hold of, get, get a lead generated when everybody's in town, can you imagine what it's like when they're displaced all over the country? So that became a, a, a primary concern for how to do that. We struggled, we developed this tool, it, it turned out to work phenomenal. And uh, in conjunction with it, in New Orleans, there was a little fraud. They were, you know, you got $11 billion worth of uh, rebuilding dollars floating around, and you've got storm chasers showing up, and homeowners writing contractors a big deposit check, and the contractor would run off with it, or a contractor, an honest contractor would come over work on a homeowner's house and not get paid. So we also created this audit, this uh, escrow tool that would disperse the funds and kind of keep everything running smoothly and seamlessly. Rick Stroder, my partner in Liberty Homes, he's got a graduate degree in banking, so he, he truly understands how to, how to manage money and make these numbers add up. I believe it's kind of annoying sometimes. But he really knows how to keep the numbers added and, and, and run them like they're supposed to. So he worked diligently along with Rick Stock to put together this transparent, accountable escrow system that banks could then use their money and deposit it in an escrow account and it would be deposited as work was being, or would be paid out to contractors as work was being completed. As Bruce would say, it's a pretty good idea because when I approached Bruce about leveraging the 203k program in order to do the energy improvement mortgages, which would be a way to capitalize the, the retrofit business that needed to be out here, the first thing he told me was, well, Rick, we kind of got a problem with this because the jobs have to be completed within 30 days, something to do with a rate lock or a, uh, uh, and he can get into it a little bit more, that's, that, that's his thing. But So now I have time to, the jobs have to be completed within 30 days. The funds have to be dispersed within 30 days, within 30 days of closing. So now we have a tool in place the contractors can make available to homeowners. Again, four point or 750,000 homeowners in Kansas City that could use this. What if we took programs like the Home Performance with Energy Star, Kansas City Power and Light, and uh, MGE's rebate program? And what if we 
got a, a, a homeowner who was selling their house to go ahead and have a, 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 an energy audit done in their house. But let's marry that energy audit up instead of just doing an energy audit. Let's go ahead and tie that to a HERS rating. A HERS rating is required in order to get this energy improvement mortgage. Well, the problem is people qualify for mortgages. Homes qualify for energy improvement mortgages. So you have to scope the house. You have to prepackage the home. Well, nobody wants to go in and buy a house when they don't know what it's going to cost to be able to fix it up. And they don't want to go through the time frame of how long it's going to take to package it together. And like Ken said, well, they don't know where to start looking to begin with. So what we did is we came up with a system that said, let's kind of like marry these uh, BPI building analysts with uh, uh, ResNet HERS raters. And let's leverage a program that's been around since 1981. Let's use the technology of the Internet. Let's use the... Uh, the uh, the study, the principles, and the, and, the, and the theories that were taught in the industrialization of the residential construction industry. We have an opportunity to do it right. And then lo and behold, what do you see? You see Vice President Biden on the news here a couple of weeks ago giving a half-hour speech about this program called Recovery Through Retrofit. You may have seen in the New York Times, if you Google online, there's a program out there called Cash for Caulkers. I think that's a pretty catchy name. But they're talking about the Cash for Caulkers program as well as the recovery through retrofit. One of the things they're talking about is, well, we're going to go out here and create a financing mechanism to where we can uh, loan the money uh, against your, uh, your taxes. And, well, that's going to require some legislation to be passed at the local level. I don't know about you, but I'm hungry. I'm ready to go to work. We've got systems in place right now. They're here. They're in Kansas City. Systems like uh, KCP&L's Home Performance with Energy Star that can be leveraged into, to take that money, that's like getting paid for your lead, guys. You go out and get to design the house and get paid for your bid. And then you can leverage that into a 203K mortgage that the homeowner can then do not only do energy improvements, but maybe even do some remodeling. You have to take these, this funding mechanism and turn it into jobs. And at the end of the day, that's what we need. So that's what we put together. That's, that's the essence of what we're trying to do. And, uh, I'm not like, what'd you guys do? <laughs> I get a little amped up up here at times, and uh, you think I like to hear myself talk. But uh, at the end of the day, uh, Charlotte's going to come up here and give you a, a really a more in-depth into the mechanics of how it works. But uh, what we're really talking about as a home builder, the first thing I have to do is I have to design the house before I can build it. So they're design-build projects. What energy auditors do and what HERS raters do is they design the retrofit project so that we can perform these energy efficient design build projects. It's taking the, the, the disciplines of a normal construction industry, the way we've been doing it for decades, but applying it to the green industry to create green jobs, except we're doing it better because we've got better tools to do it with. Thank you very much.